Okay, so here I have an Excel workbook. I've got five sheets here. Down the bottom here I've got quarter one, two, three, four, and a total. And what I want to show you is something known as 3D formulas or 3D linking. And basically what that means is taking information from one sheet, putting it onto another so that when it updates in the original sheet, it updates in the other one as well. So just to give you an idea of how this kind of thing works, it's really kind of like creating a formula. So I know you probably wouldn't do this on this sheet this way, but let me just show you because it's a good demonstration. I want to take that figure here in D3 and have it display in H3 and update when I change it in the original cell D3. So I'm just going to press equals, just like you're starting a formula. Click over here. I could have typed in D3, but clicking on it kind of avoids typos and that. Press enter and you'll see it's now displaying the same figure here. So if I change that to 18, it automatically changes here. So that's useful. You may want a figure you've got to display somewhere else. It could be, say, sales tax, and you want to have that appear on different sheets. So the thing we're ultimately going to be doing is taking these totals here, which are quarterly figures, and have them appear here in my quarter one here, and then give me a total for the whole year. But what I just want to show you is how you can build, basically, say, something like a 3D formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to this cell here. I'm going to have it. I'm in quarter two. I'm going to get it to pick up this cell here and also the cells of quarter one and quarter three and add them together. So what I'm going to do is press equals. Let's just pick that one up. And what I have to do is I have to press the plus now because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be adding up. Watch what happens if I don't, and I just click on quarter one. You'll see it changes the cell referencing up at the top here to Q1 with quotes and also that exclamation mark. So that's not what I wanted. I wanted it to stay here, and now it's putting in quarter two. And I'm going to click there, back on it again. So it's very important to put in the operator of plus, minus, whatever brackets, multiply or divide. So I'm now just going to press plus. So it's picking up this cell here. I'm now going to click on quarter one, click here, and you can see it's now telling you which sheet it's coming from, and it's separated by that exclamation mark. I'm now going to go to quarter three. Now I said I shouldn't have done that. I should put in my operator first, and you'll see it changed it to quarter three here, when really I wanted quarter one. So please don't forget that. Easy mistake. In fact, the first recording I did of this I did it incorrectly because I was so busy talking about it, and now I've got to do it again. So now you can see it's got D3 from quarter two, quarter one, and quarter three. Press enter. If you click anywhere on the sheet, it's going to pick up the cell. You must press enter or click on that tick. I'm going to press enter here, and you can see it's now got 36. If I go to quarter one, change that to 16, the figure will now change here. So that is basically a 3D formula. I'm going to delete that because what I really came here to do was to do that total sheet. So I'm going back to quarter one. I want these figures here to appear in my total sheet over here. So I can do that, which you probably guessed, by just pressing equals, going back to quarter one, clicking on this cell here, F3, and pressing enter. And there it is. And if it changes in the other one, it will change here. So now what I can do is I can actually do that again for each one of these. Or I can just copy it or copy it with the autofill. And you'll see on each of these, it's picked up the correct cell reference. And just to prove it's worked, it says 43 there. Let's change that to 20. It becomes 47. Change it over here. There you go. It's showing 47 as well. So you don't have to do this by doing the equals. You could do it with a copy and paste. So what I'm going to do is choose quarter two here, highlight what I want to copy, and you can just choose copy, use the shortcut keys like Control C or Command C if you're using a Mac, or right click and choose copy. Doesn't matter how you do it. I'm now going to go to total. Now here is where it makes a difference. You can't just do a normal paste, because if I do just a normal paste, it's going to come up with these references here. So I'm just going to do undo. 
So what I'm going to do, you click on just that one cell there. You can either go here into that little drop down underneath paste and choose this one here for link, which I'm going to do. And it now has done it. So if I go back to quarter two, it says 31 there. Let's change that to 15. And there you can see it's changed it. And you can see by looking at the top here, it's done the same thing as I did over here as if I typed in the equals. So let's just do that again for quarter three. It's already highlighted. I'm just going to do copy, go to total. This time I'm going to right click here and choose paste link there. And it's done it. And I'm just going to do the same for quarter four. So let's put that in. And I'm just going to choose my paste link. And there you go. I want a total for the whole year. So just very quickly, I'm just going to highlight these. Click on my auto sum over here and you'll see it now gives me a total going across for each of these. If the values change on any of the other sheets, they change here and obviously this total changes as well. So that's how you can do 3D formulas in Excel.